Hello, everybody. This is the Turing test. I don't know anything about it. That's about it. We can only guess at the name, the Turing test, but we are probably the robot. That is my guess, without knowing anything about the game. Uh, this was gifted me, gifted to me by Frosty for an event, which may or may not have been my birthday. Great intro, 10 of 10. Yep. It's the best. Uh, in fact, this is the first time I've even hit a new game. So, normally I like to go in a little bit just to make sure everything works, but... Now, I don't want to compare this to The Witness, but there's probably going to be a lot of that. Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. And just pause for a second. Let's get the subtitles on. If... Oh, are there seriously no subtitles? Just into alias. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was my bad. I am simply blind. Okay. Ooh, that mouse sensitivity is way too high. Let's tone that down a little bit. Let's get that to two. Let's see how that feels. That's better. Oh, dark. You'll have to earn them back again. Now, nah, fix it later. Okay, so we probably aren't... Oh, wow. That's cool. Space. This isn't what I expected. I was actually thinking I had seen part of this game before, but I, I guess I was thinking of another puzzle game. That is super low res. Why would they put something so low res? Also, that shouldn't be working. I'm not in there. That's not how that works. Immersion broken. Cryogenic Awakening. 20, 2250. Nice. Super future. Sarah Brooke. Wait, that's the. Is that the same face? Oh. This is an indie thing for sure. That's a developer. That's a goddamn. De look at that. That's a developer. That's a model. That's a developer. Look at that fucking face. Ah. Oh. oh, they had to put his face right here, right off the bat. Oh, that, that's fine. I like that. That may or may not be a developer. I want to say yes, it is a developer. Cool air. So I don't, I don't know if this is a horror game, or a puzzle game, or what. I actually... Oh. Wonderful. I'm capable of understanding that. Office... Ah, uh, well. Wait, how do I how do I back out? Okay. No, how do I? Is that a button? Hmm. 
the space briefcase is a little too hard for me to understand. Wait, what happened? Oh, that disappears! When you pick this up, that just, that completely goes away. Okay. It might be Zevran. It might be. EMT. Oh. It's on the side. Which side? This thing? EMT. This thing. Okay. We are going to take a That is glowy. Make your way to the docking station. I also don't know why that snapped my vision back like that. Uh it doesn't appear to be a gun. Energy manipulation tool. Okay. What is this room, anyway? Wait a minute. That's a- that looks like a door, right? Why isn't there a... This... Oh, look at my crouch! Look, look, look. So there's my, uh, cursor. And then crouch. Yeah, that is a strong crouch right there. They probably should have disabled that. But yeah, that, that door is in there, but I don't know why it isn't out here. Maybe it was the robots. The current ship's status is as following. Recommend addressing the power fluctuations before cryostasis. Blah, blah, blah. Hope to see you soon. Initiating cryo sleep if everything goes well, I should be woken up in the next ten years. So I wish so to you all I wish a good life. Yeah. You'd have to whenever you go into deep cryo sleep, you'd have to say, Hey, hope you had live a good life, because you'll be dead by the time I get out. Empty. Clunky. You think they'd get better laptops in space? The Let's Play I watch didn't find any of these glitches. Well, that person isn't as observant as me, apparently. Or maybe he's not as cynical. Take your pick. If I was a tester... Well, that would be pretty fun. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. How long is this anyway, Frosty? Oh, I'm sorry, is the volume of the stuff low? Let me fix that. So, how- oh, whoa! Progression blocker. Or, uh, dead drop, is what I meant to say. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. How's that volume? Is that better? I upped it like two and a half decibels. Oh. I think that's everything wound up, Tom. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready to go down for the long sleep then. Good night, Ava. I will miss your assistance. The ship oh. will be very quiet without you here. Night. See you when I wake up, Tom. Residuals before nulling, minus zero two, minus zero four, minus zero one, X and Z, null to zero. Looking good. Okay, good. Horizon check right on time. How's things, Christopher? Good. I am go for power descent. I can confirm. You are go for power descent. Roger that. I am running the PDI program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Engine one ignition. Engine burn. Alarm. So I'm still way louder than the game, you say. Alright. Let's lower myself down. Uh, decibel and a uh, half, if this would just tick for me. Fine, 1.6. And let's keep the going. Are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just another ten years of my life. 
The land is oh, oh, okay. Get out, get out. Residual. How do I get out of here? Oh, it's the escape. Okay. This is my jump, by the way. Seems difficult to read something like this, but, you know, maybe I'm just not trained enough. This seems dangerous. I mean, I guess I have the guard. Sounds about right. Thanks, Rusty. Space. Day three. What about phase one and two? Nothing. I doubt this is a game with like hidden hidden things in it. But you never know. I don't even know what the game main gameplay mechanic is yet. If it's just kind of wandering around as they talk to me and tell me story or if there's combat or puzzles or Maybe this is actually like a crafting survival game. I don't There's a lot. There's too many buttons. There are too many buttons. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. There are hidden things, but no inventory stuff. Okay. Well, then I probably already missed something, to be honest. I am not in control of this, Directing FYI. Good. Even of the camera. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. This thing is surprisingly stable. Looks like it only had one thruster on it. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. Oh, really? Do I have a... I don't have a helmet on. Yeah, this thing only has one thruster. I have no idea. Oh, there's thrusters up there. Okay. Okay. I do have a run. Oh, but the game... The game won't let me explore. There's a... It's an invisible wall there. Let's check this way. Gotta test those limits. Oh, there's a wall right there. Okay. Ah, uh, there's nothing. How long will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin, a couple of hours. We should get inside. So Tom's just in my head the whole time. Oh! Loading screen, alright. I actually didn't expect a loading screen. I'm so used to games that just have the hidden ones these days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Well, I wonder if I have to use this. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Into puzzle rooms for reasons. 
The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics oh. built this place. Getting a portal vibe. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. Oh, Tom's evil. We need to work together. All right, I'm gonna try and find some of those hidden things. That's my goal. At least one. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most oh, of them were that's used cool. For storage, but they have converted them beyond recognition. I have to move my mouse up and down to do that. Things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Really, a robot couldn't solve this room? This room involves flipping a switch. Hmm, interesting. So what happens if I just, like... Oh, I have to grab it from the window. Okay. I was trying to just kind of shoot it randomly, but it won't shoot unless I'm actually taking it. It won't... I can't use this unless I'm using it on something. I can't just go willy-nilly with it. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? <laughs> the crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So if I do this... That opens. I know what I gotta do. Oh, hmm. Can't actually take it out of this one. Interesting. Mm. Gotta check behind those stairs. You never know. Yeah, this is a very portal too. Or Portal 1 and 2. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Oh, that's... Okay. That's just all fuzzy, but it doesn't actually stop me from doing anything. Hold E. Okay. Oh, that's really sensitive. Wow. Okay, that's one. Let's see what's this way. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Huh. This seems like a lot. Okay, that's the secret room. Don't know how we're supposed to get balls into that. But... Hmm. Oh, green ones 
are on a timer, basically. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Hmm. Does this one... So it doesn't matter where it's coming from, it just matters that it's... Oops. Oh. There we go. I didn't realize that was a switch. Hmm. If I'm supposed to get extra balls back to that other one, not sure how I'd do that. Been updated. <coughs> I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the circuit. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. That's weird. I continue to learn on the What I just did there. I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Seems pretty basic so far. Also, this seems excessive for just a group of people to do. Doesn't it? This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Hmm. I'm hitting E, but nothing's happening. Maybe I have to do it up here? Yeah, sticky notes. Amazing. I'm so glad they're letting me pick these up and touch them. Maybe over here. More useless junk. I'm at least gonna look at it once just to... Yeah, like... Mm, unnecessary. Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our <laughs> the future of game. Our home ...and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on my form. So they found something, and they touched Kyle, it. Kyle, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Sochi are having trouble making enough clones. 
don't know about that. I think I'm necessarily resorted to continue studying organism 119. They're calling for a grounding of all your rope transport until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. That's rather drastic. So yeah, let's th send all these parasitic symbiotes back to uh, back to Earth. What could go wrong? That's really weird that I hit E, but that doesn't tell me why nothing happens. Oh, got my gun back and loading. Oh, that's chapter one. And if there was a collectible, missed it. There were too many false collectibles. Too many microscopes and briefcases. I just couldn't see it. They clouded my vision. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. In the accident. Oh, I'm gonna need that, aren't I? Uh, where is this going now? Nowhere? Wait a second. Oh, I see. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Ah, uh, could I pick it up? Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Can I just... Yep. So it's strong, but it's not stronger than me. Got it. It's also not strong enough to pick me up. I like the music, I like the dialogue. It's, it's nice so far. Don't know where it's going. It's also very simplistic so far, but it might ramp up in difficulty. As it introduces more and more mechanics, I'm sure. Oh. I still don't know what the hell this room is. I'm assuming it doesn't want me to take things through. Oh, hey, look, there's a lot of levels. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food store, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Huh. Well, at least they're not in danger. So this powers that. Oh, all right. Is there a staircase? This is a ladder. So I need to power this thing. That was free, okay. Oh, looks like I can carry up to three of these. Whoop. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm trying to break the puzzles on myself, hooray. Oh, I see. 
I can't actually move that thing. The rooms are a little boring. They're all very simplistic. Like the the su I don't know. Can I <laughs> Seems to go right for the center, huh? Was there? Oh, there's a control over there. Walked right by it. No wonder I'm not finding anything. I mean, you'd want the place to be a little nice, wouldn't you? Because otherwise, it's just really boring. <laughs> 